what's up everybody this is ST2029 today's date is August 29th 2011 all right I want to share with you guys some uh, interesting articles I found surfing the inner tubes first one uh, that caught my eye was how would NASA and Russia evacuate the International Space Station well first off my, I've always had this question, I think, ever since I ever uh, heard of NASA or any space program leaving stuff in space would be, why in the heck are you polluting space? I mean, you've already polluted Earth. Um, you've done a darn good job of, you know, filling our Earth full of crap. Why do we have to leave crap out in space? And... You know, some say, well, it's going to burn up coming back into the atmosphere. Think that if you use common sense, you would figure they could get that up, up into space. Most likely, if they really wanted to, they could figure out a way to get it back home. In my opinion, they leave it up there only because the fact that they just don't want to spend the money to get it back. And they're like, screw it, let it go float off in space. And uh, some pissed off E.T. is going to go, like, tripping over it. And, you know, he's going to be looking the wrong way and drive right through the damn thing and be like, where the hell did that thing come from? And they're going to be coming back here going, dude, you guys can't be, you know, you can destroy your planet but leave space alone. So I'll leave the link to the article below. Sorry to rant about that. It's just to know that our planet is just completely... Um, it's been devastated with our pollution and trash and the fact that you know we go up in space now and we just let an object like this be and they're claiming in the wake of a Russian rocket failure and that's why they would evacuate this thing I mean really if you have a rocket failure why in the heck wouldn't you just go up and fix that rocket I mean that seems kind of silly I'm not going to get into too big of a conspiracy on this, but in my opinion, they're probably uh, boogieing out of there because they've got like a, you know, big ass rock coming towards them or something could possibly be ready to take it out. Who knows? I don't want to start making assumptions because you next, you know, next thing I'll have all kinds of people telling me how crazy I am. I just felt it was interesting, so I wanted to share that uh, article. Here's another one. If you guys um, are subscribed to Scott over Believers Underground, he's been putting out a lot of video about how the ocean floor is going to sink due to all the extra water from the glaciers. And so I was cruising and found this article, which kind of, in a way, backs up his theory. Uh, of course, it's not what the scientists are saying is going on. Um, they're saying all that extra water... Uh, you know, came back as rain that got, you know, it says the continents received extra rain so much that the global sea levels actually fell, meaning more of the water fell on land than in the water, which, oh man, yeah, you make sense of that, what you want. However, um, you know, it's up to, I guess, us to figure out what's true and what's not true. But felt you guys might like to go and explore your own possibilities with these two interesting articles but um, that's all I got for today I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and have a uh, awesome new week this is ST2029 and I'm signing out oh by the way I received a couple of emails somebody had said something in regards to my observatory at home I'll make a video if I can, or if I find some time, put that together here later today or tomorrow, whenever I can get uh, out there to do it. So anyhow, we'll talk at you guys soon. Peace.